Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be texturing this uh, shipping container so now up to um, be textured and all that good stuff. Okay, in the last um, tutorial I did say I was going to fix a couple of things. So pretty much everything here you see what's selected I snapped the, them up and sideways and I pretty much just snapped them to the higher poly version below it so they actually you're not going to get it it's funny sat along the top now and I pretty much did that all the way around on that side that side and over here and also I did it with uh, the mail rod here and delete that was so now that's said and done and that way let's get started you're going to have to go to the UV editor and if I select the high poly and the low poly and I'll bake this out um, I'm going to get error I'm not sure why this error comes up sometimes but you might run into it so if you come up with this error just uh, select your low poly and just put this to a new material so we just make a new material and put it over there and if we select high poly and low poly again and bake that out it should come out alright like so so now we've got our normal map we're going to save this out to save that out you click on image and save as ok image save as don't know what I clicked on a second ago don't know why I didn't do that but ok and we also want AAO so let's bake that out and do exactly the same with the AO. Okay. So save image. Uh, we'll just name that so AO and yep. And I'm going to rename the normal map as well on my other monitor. So give me a second. Okay. Now that stuff is out of the way, what we're going to do is we're going to hide our high poly for a second alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to material, remove this material ok, you've got to be in object mode, what I don't understand, it should still work either way but it's very fussy like that with some things. So I'm going to set this material to blue and no um, speckler on it. And I'm going to make another one. Actually, I want this one red. Uh, I'm going to make another one and make this one blue. And turn the speckler off. OK. And now what I'm going to do is deselect, I think, and just select the top piece and holding down control and plus um, I'm going to assign our blue material to that so now the container itself is blue but the melt rod is red so both of these colors are going to have different materials signed to them and that's that why we broke it up like that if you want to go into more detail you can actually say okay I want the edges to be a certain color as well you to make a new material, make the edges a different colour <coughs> but for my purposes I'm actually happy with this so what we're going to do now is pretty much we're going to bake this out but when we bake it out we want to set this to textures and we just bake that out and now this we made ourselves a ID map so let's save that out as ID, not save over it, uh, like so, ok, ok I've got cap locks on, uh, ok so now we've saved that out, um, now we can actually go ahead and remove the materials because if you um going to import this model into a game engine or other stuff the materials will come with it and we don't really need that so we do remove them and that should work hopefully in um, quicksaw oh oh yeah 
I'm going to be doing this tutorial for Quixel and I'll make another tutorial later um, that's the old fashioned way of uh, making textures and stuff so yeah <coughs> okay so all I did there was delete the high poly and I'm going to our second um, layer and I'm going to unhide the sap and delete that as well so pretty much all I want is our low poly uh, object here so I'm happy with this um, uh, Quixel um, Suite 2 does support blend files but in my case I'm going to export it out as a OBJ as that was what it used to originate at, at, well that was the only thing you could do before so I don't want to run in errors and stuff just in case it isn't supported but I'm guessing if it's in there it should be supported so yeah it should okay so open up uh, ddo and we're going to assign our object so we've got obj we'll assign that our id mouse we'll assign that our oh great okay that crashes out okay Give it a second. Hang on. There, right. Okay, we did open this up again. Sign our OBJ. Our ID mouse. Don't crash on me. Okay, cool. Alright, our normal and our AO. Um if you got two separate objects in, in the scene that that why we delete everything else um, you have an um, option here to select them as well and then you can assign the normal maps ID and the AO to that as well um, I'm going to set it for the Unreal I'm happy, I'm happy with that yep okay all that I'm good with so we just generate all this goodness uh, it won't take too long it's a lot quicker in um, Quixel Suite 2, a lot quicker. That was actually the first time it crashed on me as well, so that's pretty cool. Yep, yeah, we get that. Okay, so go and open this up, open up Freedo. So we can see what we've got right, and how do we move is it okay if you're holding down alt and oh god okay that's kind of going over the place isn't it um if you're holding down alt and um left click you can rotate around the scene you can do throw in and out and if you hold down alt and okay you can hold down alt and uh right click and it zooms in and out as well is it shit? okay if you're holding down shift and left click it will move the light source and how do we move? Okay, middle mouse will just move around. Okay, cool. So as you can see, the normals are doing a pretty good job already, um, showing the detail. I'm actually pretty happy with the normals, how they came out actually. Looking nice and up in here. If we did move the light around, you know, get all that goodness. Okay, so. I'm going to just move this over to my second monitor for a second. And we're going to just add a couple of materials now. So, just add a couple of metals. So, what colour do I want in this shipping container? I like blue. Yeah, that's good enough for me. I'm happy with that. And this will import. when it does, in its own time. Like so, okay. Now if I move the shipping container back over, you can see it's actually select, it, it painted it all. The reason why is because we haven't set it to our ID. And um, it brought us into the material itself. Um, 
So we're going to hit back on that and this little box here we're going to click on this and we're going to assign this to is it blue? I think it's blue for the shipping container, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, and that, it grabbed that um, bit on the metal bar. Um, not quite happy with something here. I'm not sure what it is. So I'm going to unhide some stuff and see what it is now. I'm okay with that. Is it this? Yeah. Uh, I don't like that one there at all, so we can remove that. Yes, I want to delete that. Okay, cool. And now we're going to do pretty much do exactly, yeah, exactly the same process for the metal rod. So we find a metal we are happy with. Um, I'm happy with this metal. So just import this metal and it'll paint it all that metal was again. Like so, but we're going to change that right now to red. And yeah, that's how easy it is to make textures in Dido. You know, you, you can go in and you can paint. You can actually paint now in um, Quick Suite too. Well, it's pretty cool. Um, but. No, I'm, I'm actually happy how that came out, so I'm not actually worried about painting it. Um, i not liking the quality of the dirt, though. So, we can click on this and find out what our dirt there is. Is it this one? I think it is. Mm. Yeah, okay. We can, um, can't remember. Is, is that going to shrink it down a bit? Yep, okay. And what is this one? Okay, yeah. Just move that up. A bit more as well. And uh, we're going to have to probably do that on all of them, are we? No, uh, it looks like it's fine, in it? Oh, no, they want to change material. Okay, so what what is this then? Uh, okay. So, yeah. That's pretty much how you texture a shipping container and uh, do do. So thank you for watching. Um, if you like, um, subscribe. If you've got any comments, just leave them down below and I'll see what I can do. Alright, so catch you later.